It is exactly nine minutes to the top of the hour. Welcome back to Sunday Live here at Susan Television. On to our interview section, one-on-one -on -one with Moranga County Governor. Now listen, if you're in Moranga County, you need to listen to this. There's a new program and a new app on your phones that you need to know about. And I want to go right into it. It's called Inua Nkulima. It's the brainchild of Governor Irungu Kangata. And I tell you, this thing is literally a game changer. Governor, good to see you. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. I just literally heard about this Inua Nkulima. Explain to us, please. Now, uh, for the last one year or so, we came up with something called minimum guaranteed return for mango and milk farming in Moranga. Reason being, we decided to support mango and, farm and milk because those are uh, the two most important value chains in our county that can cut across the various ecological zones of Moranga. But uh, we organize farmers into cooperatives so, for instance, if you are a mango farmer, you need to join a cooperative called Lower Moranga. If you are a milk farmer, you needed to join various cooperatives that are there in the upper region of Moranga. Mm. So, before, for the last one year or so, we would send you support to buy inputs directly into your bank account in cash form. Mm -hmm. For instance, for a milk farmer, we would give you 3.5 shillings per every liter you deliver to a cooperative. So you use that money to buy, let's say, for instance, food for the cow, that is dairy meal, milking jelly, such. The same would apply for the mango. We negotiated a deal with the two companies that process juices, that is Kevian Mango in Vika and uh, Kambiti, a company called uh, Sunny Mango. And the price of mango per kg for a farmer moved from two shillings to 23 Kenya shillings per kg. But then again, we decided this year to recast that program. Reason being, one, when, once you send the money to the farmer, you have no way of knowing what the farmer is doing with that money. Yeah. So to, to, uh, secondly, we noted the majority of farmers in Moranga are the small scale farmers. The kind of money we used to send them on average was about 400, 500 shillings per month. So we wanted to increase that support for the average farmer. So therefore, we devised a new model called eVoucher, this card. So this card is a model where you create what we call an electronic wallet. You load money into it. You register farmers. Then you give them this card. So once they go to a shop which is privated by the county or an aggravate, you give this card. The merchant will key in your ID, mm. then you will receive what we call an OTP on your phone as a farmer, then you will transact. With this card, they can be able to buy, get for free, uh, aggravate items like uh, animal feeds. They can also get food stuff like uh, maize flour, mm. uh, the wheat flour, they can also get uh, cooking oil, and uh, also they can pay school fees using this card. Yeah. Let, let me take a look at it, Governor. I mean, this, is, this is incredible. Can, can I just, Kirui, just do a, a real uh, close up of this because this is incredible. You, you, you're giving farmers free money. Basically. Basically, although there are some conditionalities. Of course. And uh, this is like an ATM. Yes, it is. This is like an ATM. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And how many farmers are on this program right now? 20,000. 20,000? Yes. Goodness. What? Yes, 20,000. Is it working, though? Is it working? Are there hitches? Are there teething problems? Or it's going well? Yes, it is working. But there are some problems. Number one, uh, farmers want more shops and agravets to be vetted mm -hmm. by the county mm -hmm. and allowed farmer to redeem this card. So currently we are recruiting more merchants to enter into the program. And how much, what's the ceiling on this? 2,400 per every three months. So every three months you have 2,400. 
uh, after you exhort your wallet, we also add more money, but the next quarter. Mm -hmm. So the next problem we are noticing is uh, uh, erroneous numbers that we buy someone's mistake were recorded into our system. That may include, for instance, uh, data entry problems, or maybe the farmer was not very keen when he was giving us a number, or the clerk was registering the number missed one digit. So you find some farmers are going to various uh, merchant shops and they are unable to get the OTP that will enable them to cash in this card. Oh. But currently we have come up with a system. We have created a portal where a farmer can go and check if they find a problem in the uh, number that is recorded by us, they can leave a comment, then later on we'll be able to amend. Yeah, and tell me something, Governor. Um, it looks like it's very technology driven, right? What about farmers deep in Mashinani who may not have a smartphone, have a mulika mwizi, you know, may not know how to use this wallet. Are you helping those out? Uh, on the part of the farmer, you do not need uh, a smartphone to transact. Even Amulika Mwizi will definitely transact. But on the part of the merchants, you definitely need a smartphone. So we have been doing intensive trainings uh, so that we bring our merchants up to speed, uh, at least to understand how to key in our farmer details, how to log in and do other things which are uh, technologically based. It is a simple system to a certain extent. It's not very complicated. Also, our farmers, notwithstanding them being in Mashinani, they are quite wise. And I can tell you they have been able to give us very good feedback on how we can make our system better. So to, to, we are not the few teething problems concerning erroneous records of phone numbers. We think in the next one or so month, this system will stabilize and quite a number of farmers are already redeeming and we are able to follow what they are doing every day using a dashboard that we have. S suppose I was to borrow this from you and I you know, drive into Moranga, into an aggravate shop and try and cash it, you know, or buy stuff. Would I be able to, as me? No, because you are not in possession of the phone where OTP will be sent. Mm. So you need two things for you to transact this card plus the OTP. So what you are telling our farmers is to ensure they don't just surrender their phone plus the card to strangers mm. because that would be a possibility of fraud. But uh, beyond that, you can't really transact uh, if you are just going using this. Remember, the list of farmers was prevented by the county in conjunction with cooperatives and aggregators who are currently uh, in the system. So for you to become an aggregator, that means uh, a dairy or a factory. We run a tender. We say these are uh, people whom we shall support. You needed to come and apply. Uh, as a, uh, Let's say, for instance, uh, KCC, for instance, it applied. It gives us a list of their farmers. And uh, based on that, we put that list into our system and therefore you need to be a member of the cooperative for, or even you take milk to a known manufacturer or processor for you to be into this system. Therefore, you, Jeff, you can't come to Moranga yeah. and just uh, benefit from the program. Tell me something else, Governor. Um, a year from now, two years from now, where will Inu Kulima be? Uh, one, we plan to increase the number of farmers. I think there are some people who thought we were joking, so they never joined the train. We are seeing a lot of demand, so we definitely plan to increase the number of farmers. We have noted similar thing in other programs. A good example is Le Kangata Care. That is the partnership where we give the elderly or the poor indigents cards where they can access hospitals for free. When we started, we had about 20,000 uh, members of that scheme. Currently, there are 40,000 uh, households under Kangata Care. We will, so therefore, in the next two years, we know this 20,000 will probably be about 40,000. The second thing we expect in the next two years, this will incentivize more farmers to enter into cooperatives. We believe 
a small scale farmer cannot be able to maneuver in a free market without aggregation. Yeah, a good example is like KTDA. Imagine a farmer in, let's say, Moranga Katora. He sells tea in Pakistan. If he was alone, he wouldn't be able to take tea right. to Pakistan. Right. He takes there through KTD aggregation. The same logic applies in mango and milk in Moranga. We want more farmers to join cooperatives because, as we say in Kiswahili, umoja ni nguvu. Yeah. So the more they come together, they will have what we call economies of scale and definitely uh, incomes will rise. Number three, we, we, we will see rising incomes of people of Moranga. Why? We think the problem of agriculture in this country is failing to link industry with small scale farming. So you find a small scale farmer producing certain things and consuming, it's more subsistence farming. So this system is aimed to link our farmer to the cooperative and then the cooperatives is linked to the industry. Mm -hmm. That is how you will increase incomes of the poor farmer. Right. Yes. You were saying that uh, mangoes and milk are the main produce of manga, right? Tell us about the county-owned milk factory that collapsed in Moranga. Yes, uh, there was a county government funded uh, milk factory based in Maragua that uh, costed uh, the county millions of shillings, uh, but it was government owned, county government owned. Then uh, it collapsed about one year before I took over as a governor of Moranga. Mm. It was closed. And uh, the reason it was closed is because of mismanagement. So when we came in, we thought, what do we do about it? Uh, there were people who were arguing that uh, we need to go there back as a county government and pump more money. But I was not convinced that's the right way to do it. Reason being, governments do not know how to do business very correctly. Uh, they are prone to a lot of corruption. So we decided to give that factory back to farmers. Baranga milk farmers have a union called MCCU. Uh, we thought they are the one who know the market better. And again, this being their product, they have uh, an incentive to do a better job than us. So we entered into an agreement. We transferred the entire factory to them. We, we gave them a 20 years lease. And uh, currently, it is now processing milk. And we believe that's a win-win situation where, on one hand, we are no longer inputting capital and resources to run the factory. On the other hand, farmers are now getting better value for their milk. Ah, very yes. good. Also, um, is it true that doctors in Moranga County are not on strike? Uh, yeah, let me not really. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll leave it at that. Yes, we'll, we'll leave it at that. By the way, yeah. are you worried about the Kaine Dam overflowing? Yes, definitely. Uh, you know, these rains have cost a lot of havoc. Yeah. First, there are some families who have lost their lives, particularly in Getugi Madhya constituency. We have gone there to support them. Currently, we have been reported of several potential hazards. And uh, very soon we shall be sitting down as a county government and deciding what intervention we shall do, including the alert in Dakaine Dam. We, of course, it's currently managed by Nairobi County. Yeah. We see whether they are proper spillways. But also it has also caused some of our flagship projects to stall. We, there's a program we call Smart City Program where we pave urban roads, urban markets. Eh? using county resources. Now that it is raining, you can't really pave or tarmac those uh, roads. So we are telling Moranga people, residents in various urban markets where smart city program was being undertaken yeah. to wait until this season passes. We shall resume uh, those, uh, that very important project. Absolutely. Yeah. The other thing, Rulf Lasty, in New Amkulima, can it work in other counties? No. Oh. Uh, reason being, you need you need to redeem in a privated agrovet or a shop. So uh, you cannot just go to let's say Gedurai or. Uh, but what if Kiambu had its own, or Nairobi had its own, or Meru or Embu? 
if they had their own in Wam Kulima? Well, I don't know. Let me not speak for them. Eh? Okay. But for you to be allowed to be a merchant, eh? yeah. let's say an aggravate or a shop, you actually need to come to the county. We vet you. You sign a form. And uh, this is a partnership. We are right. doing t with some other two other financial institutions. Okay. So once that happens, that's when you'd be allowed to uh, to enter into this program. Oh, right. Of course, this differs a little bit with the Kangata Care, right. where patients get services across the, the country. The board, yeah. yeah. Okay. Governor, good to see you. Thank you, sir. Come back when you have more good stuff, good news to tell us. Thank there's, you. There's usually not very much good news to say, but this is it's probably a game changer. Thank you. All right, well done. Asai. Moranga County Governor Irungu Kangata there in the house talking to us about Inua Mkulima an innovative, innovative new way and helping farmers to benefit in the best way they can. Thanks, Governor. I'm keeping this for now. <laughs> We're going to take a break. I'm kidding. We're going to take a break. Come back. We have sports news coming up next. <laughs> Keep tweeting out. Kranga Jeff at Citizen TV. The hashtag is JK Live. JK Live takes, oh, Sunday Live, pardon me. Sunday Live takes a break. We'll be back because I'm solo. It's JK Live. Sunday Live takes a break. We'll be back in the meantime, coming up.